Hi, welcome to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. Today, uh, all my all of my creeks are flowing, and so I wanted to chart which creek had the most volume of water to establish the one that would be best suited for a water wheel to power a generator. So it looks like the creek that is actually closest to the house that uh, I have the nice view of out of my office window. This is the creek that has the most water uh, flow. So this would be optimal for putting a water wheel on. This also has a good drop uh, from the head down. I, it looks like I have more of a 20 foot drop from the top of my property down to the lowest point in my property. So we'll see how much uh, technology I need to put into designing a water wheel. Currently I'm going uh, through YouTube and Google to see the different designs that people are coming up with to set up water wheels in their backyard. I found a couple of uh, really good uh, designs that are inexpensive and from material I can actually look for on Craigslist or look around or put the word out that's what I'm looking for that I can build for free. I already have the generator system. Uh, I have the bicycle parts because I'm going to use the bicycle wheel for the pulley system. I just need to go down into the junkyard and grab a serpentine belt to actually power the generator that I am going to be putting on the system. So I also have uh, three options of generators to put on my water wheel. So I'll show you those three options. Okay, these three options I have, option one is taking this uh, uh, washing machine motor which has, has permanent magnets in it. Uh, this puts out a lot of power to have to rewire it. I found the instructions on rewiring that on YouTube. And this is one that a guy has uh, hooked up with this kind of machine on his uh, water wheel and he uses a Pelton wheel to drive that and he's set up in New Zealand I believe. Another uh, alternative I have is I have this uh, alternator but I have to convert this to a permanent magnet alternator to uh, generate a uh, more sufficient voltage. Uh, that takes some money to convert that, but there's one option. And another option doesn't require any conversion at all. This is actually, oh it's heavy. This is actually a motor that came out of a uh, treadmill. I got two of these motors. Uh, this one is rated uh, 1.25 horsepower. If you add power, uh, uh, electricity to it, it'll turn and it, uh, um, it will uh, run at 90 volts direct current. But when I spin it, it creates uh, uh, 12 volts of power. But I need to have more than enough power to be able to charge. A, a 12 volt battery bank which is what I'm going to do with that uh, water wheel out in the front creek is uh, generate enough power to charge a battery as an alternative source of uh, a charging. Uh, the cricks they will run they just started running December 1st this year uh, in pre year, uh, years previous, they started actually in the uh, beginning of November, but it was uh, took longer for it to get a kick start uh, this year to get the rain uh, in and the ground saturated enough where the water will flow off the top. So about December 1st is when we had water starting to flow through 
and over the top of the uh, ground and, in, and now flush through the stream beds. So those stream beds run with water through June and then they dry up. So that's a good six, seven months of power that I can get. Uh, and then the rest of the months, which is full sun, I'll be utilizing the solar power. So those are my three alternatives that I have. I could use all three of them or use one or the other or a combination of two. We'll see. I still got to work out the technology. So stick with me. Stay tuned. I'm still in the planning stage of building my water wheel and getting the system built. I'm Jerry Hansen, your host here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you for coming. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and also look for us on social media. See you later.